Hey guys, it's Tom with the River Bluff Baggers. Um, it's December the 2nd. It's pretty nice out. Um, I'm going to take a trip today on my motorcycle. Uh, just a ride around the uh, area here that we live in, northeast Kansas, and uh, talk about some of the things that uh, you need to look out for in the fall riding, winter riding, and uh, hopefully it helps you out. And uh, if you got any other suggestions, uh, put it in the comments down below. Let's go for a ride. Hey guys, it's Tom. I'm out here riding on the back roads of Kansas. Just wanted to give you a little uh, moto vlog, solo moto vlog, because the guys are working. So it's a beautiful day out here in northeast Kansas for December the 2nd. I just had to get out and ride and thought I'd bring you five tips that we uh, we look for and do in the winter, fall months. First off, you need to check your pressure in your tires. When winter comes on or cold months, your air pressure in your tires will go down. So, wintertime riding, you need to really check your air pressure a little more than you do any other time. It helps the life of your tires and it helps you go around corners as I'm doing right now. You got the correct air pressure. That being said, next thing with cold weather is your battery is going to take a little, going to be a little harder on your battery. So, we recommend a battery tender for your battery to keep it strong and as high voltage as you can keep it. And that way, if you don't get to ride it all week long and you want to go out and take a short trip on the weekend, and you go out and your battery is not dead. So keep a battery tender on it. If you're one of the guys that takes your bike and puts it away for the whole winter, then I recommend that you take the battery out of the bike and take it inside where it's nice and warm keep it in a warm place in your house or a warm garage. Take it off the bike though, unhook it completely. So, that, that would be my tip number two. Alright, it's a beautiful day out here, man. You guys are probably killing me, they find out I went riding and they're working. December the 2nd was opening day for Kansas rifle season, deer season. So, with that being said, one of the things you need to look out for in fall and winter riding is wild game on the roads. The deer, the coons, the coyotes, they all move a lot more in the winter months. It's breeding season for deer, so they will be chasing does and vice versa. The bucks will be chasing other bucks around, so really keep an eye on the road and the animals that might be coming that being said, it's a good thing that the harvest, it, here's a real big farming community, so the harvest is out, but so you can see a long ways, as you can see, I can see a long ways from side to side on the road, uh, there's no obstruction, now if the corn or the beans is in, especially the corn, you wouldn't be able to see but five feet off the side of the road here, but with it being picked and gone, alright, so with that being said, there's no leaves on the trees unless you got evergreens or something along the road. So you can see better, so keep an eye on the road. Road conditions around here in the fall and the winter, that's something we need to keep an eye on because after harvest is done and they're hauling their grain, they go around corners like we just went around and uh, there could be spillage of beans or corn on the ground and it could be like sand. So it could be a little slick so once again safety first you go around the corners just a little bit slower ride your own ride don't try to don't try to keep up with the guy in front of you if he's got a little more experience or a little better bike that handles corners better just just do yourself you'll catch up with him on a straightaway but be careful around the corners because that is a possibility there could be corn or beans spilled on the ground and then they could have been run over with cars and crushed and you can't really see it but you can feel it when you go around it on a bike. You can also come into sand or or other stuff on the road, salt, sand, 
they, they do a mixture here where we live. It's about half sand and half salt. So if it's snowed and it's all melted away, there's probably still a good chance that there's a lot of sand and salt that's left on the road from when they uh, cleared the road off. So that being said, keep your eyes peeled for any kind, anything that may be on the road that's hard to see. And tip number, what's it, what does it be, three or four, is dress warm. You cannot dress too warm. You can always take clothes off. If you go out on a bike ride and you thought it was nice when you left the house and you get out on highway speeds and then you start getting chilled and you didn't have anything else to put on, then you're pretty much screwed because you're going to be cold the whole ride. I always overdress, and then once we ride, I can tell the guys, "Hey, I gotta stop and take something off. I gotta. It's too hot. I gotta take it off. I'm starting to sweat." You don't want to start sweating, but then again, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to not have enough clothing on. No, we don't. None of us have heated gear, but we do. We do wear line jeans with chaps. Uh, if it's really cold. I'll even put a pair of long johns on and then my line jeans and then my chaps on, keep my legs warm, uh, wear heavy wool socks in the winter time and just my regular riding boots and a nice jacket with a liner and then usually I'll have either a fleece jacket with a long sleeve shirt on or something like that. Now we mainly ride half helmets even in the winter months. Now, I do have a modular helmet. I, we all have a modular helmet that we could wear, but most of the time we still just wear a half helmet. But, tip of the day, when it's cold out, a full face helmet is always nice and toasty. So, alright guys, well, it's, it's been fun riding out here. The weather's beautiful. I hope everybody's having a wonderful December already. Uh, we're looking forward to a uh, long winter probably. The weather doesn't look horrible yet, but it's coming and we know it's coming. So when you get a chance to get out there in these warm days, you need to take your bike and take it for a ride. Enjoy the weather. There ain't many good days left. So that being said, so a little recap on the tips is check your air pressure. If you don't have a tire monitoring system, which I do not, Neil and Jerry both do, check your air pressure. It's a pain in the butt on a bagger. I probably am going to check into getting a tire pressure monitoring system for my bike because the rear tire, as a lot of you know, on baggers are a pain in the ass to check the air pressure on. So, check your air pressure, safety first. Do that before you ride. If your prior pressure will go down in colder, colder weather, Tip number two is battery tender if you're going to ride. Keep it plugged in. Keep your battery as, as high char hardly charged as you can. Tip number three, watch your roads, your animals, and uh, be aware of your surroundings while you're riding in the winter months because animals will be more active and moving around a little more often. So be, be sure you've got a good field of view while you're riding your motorcycle in the winter, which usually is a little easier since the leaves and the corn and the beans and all the crops are out, so you can see a little better, but they're going to be moving more. Tip number four, dress warm. If you, I would rather overdress than underdress and get cold. If you're on a bike and you get cold, it's almost impossible to get warm. You can warm your hands up with your exhaust. That that is has been done by me many times. Leave the bike running, get off, get my hands down there by the exhaust, get them warmed up a little bit. Uh, I put 10 inch apes on mine because I wanted to stay below the fairing and uh, I don't like wearing gloves but I have to wear them in the winter time but they still get a little chilly in the in the winter so a little tip there you can warm your hands up put it down beside you and let the heat of the motor warm them up a little bit if you don't have gloves on and if you get cold and you pull over, leave your bike running, get off, put your hands down by the exhaust and that will warm them up even through the gloves. So uh, another good tip is 
if you're going to ride your bike to the gas station, it's better to get it warmed up to running temperature in the winter time. Let it idle in your garage or your carport. I have a carport, so I let it run in the carport for a few minutes before I even get on it and move it. In the winter time, especially, uh, it, it should get up to operating temperature to probably 200 some degrees in the motor before you shut it off. Um, it's just easier on the motor. It kind of burns off the uh, condensation that might be in there. Uh, it helps with that. So it's always been told to me, let your bike get up to running temperature before you shut it off the first time. And uh, that's that's kind of a golden rule I, I try to go by. So, so I'm almost home. So it's my first little solo moto vlog, I guess. And uh, tell me what you think. If you like what you heard, uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. What's some of your tips? Give me a big thumbs up. If you like what you heard, share it with somebody. If you can, leave me a comment on some of your tips. I'll read through. We respond. We try to respond to all comments. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to this, you're watching this on Facebook, go over, log into YouTube, and look us up, River Buff Baggers. And go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and give us a follow. Um, we greatly appreciate it. It only helps the channel. Thanks, and ride safe, everybody.